What's going on, peace? We welcome to the Organa Art Family. It is time for evolution. And so, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Who Who or, or Who Who brand, the Touch brand, and the Copic Marker brand, which is the leading brand in alcoholic or alcohol markers. The leading brand, the Copic brand, is a leading brand and it tends to be much more expensive compared to uh, third party brands. Now, Ohuhu is, uh, is uh, a brand I really enjoy, you know, just due to the, the cheapness of it and the, the the diverse colors that you get from from this. And I, I believe this is 216 colors compared to, you know, to Copics, which is only 72 colors and it will cost around, you know, 400 or so dollars. This would cost you around 100 or, or so dollars, but I'll, I'll, I'll go more in detail with that when we reach the end of the, the video, near the end of the video. And so, one thing I did enjoy about uh, Ahuhu, first off, is the fact that it came with color swatches. Look at this. Look how amazing this is. Look how kind of them. So, so the, it came with it came with some color swatches. I'll get into the uh, the Touch brand. Uh, later or soon but it came with it came with color swatches and the reason why i i like it, the fact that it came with color swatches is that i don't have to go through the tedious or the you know just trying to figure out the cool co color combinations like how i used to do with uh carpet markers that didn't come with a uh, a swatch sheet and if, if you look up here if you look up here this is, these are all of the, uh, this is all of my, uh, just the attempts of me experimenting with different kind of colors to see which ones uh, match well and which ones uh, don't, but it was, I was just experimenting and I didn't really have a swatch sheet. So I wouldn't say like the, this, the Copic would be uh, beginner friendly. Maybe they updated in the past. I bought these Copics a long time ago, a couple of years ago, but uh, it didn't. When I bought it in the past, it didn't uh, come with a, uh, it didn't come with a swatch sheet, like a hoo did. So that's that's pretty awesome. And also at the same time, a hoo is the cheapest, and uh, yeah, it's the cheapest compared to Copic. So I think that's a that's a major plus. And so, if we were to uh, move move on and, and go on to the Touch brand, so the the Touch brand, so this didn't come with a uh, when I bought this 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 thing this the, the Touch Bowl, the uh, this brand when I bought this it didn't come with a, a swatch sheet it didn't come with a a, a, a pamphlet or a booklet to, to link to their website, and one thing I didn't really like enjoy about it was the fact that. Uh, it was kind of uh, how should I say the the markers fall fall apart easily, so they kind of they're not really great holders. You know, if, if I were them, I would have at least added a few more inches halfway so that it would hold the markers. But it didn't. It wasn't able to really you know hold well. And however, compared to the Ahuhu brand. It was able to it has these uh these dividers here that are that's uh, helpful to divide uh, each uh each of the six sections but this not not exactly so it's very easy for things to to fall off oh uh, and that's why i also bought a uh i bought a uh some uh, a marker shelf or something to hold the markers so that you know since i'm, I'm getting like i'm starting to get like a much more uh coloring markers i'm starting to you know find find uh find things to, to hold it in but this this i wouldn't this is not a good uh holder or so and it also doesn't come with a with it also doesn't come with a swatch sheet so i had to print this out on their website and also i don't know if this is a thing uh this says this this says touch yeah this says touch bowl yeah, this says touch bull and this says touch. So maybe I bought a third party or perhaps they another third party or perhaps they rebranded themselves. But however, however, uh, they uh, the the number, the codes, the color codes are the, the exact same and the color names are the exact same as the sheet here. So I believe uh, if you go to their website of touch, 
you could just print out the sheet and, and do it. But I, but when I did purchase it, I didn't, uh, <clears throat> I didn't know they had a website. I didn't know that they even had a, had a sheet, but, uh, but yeah. And also one thing to keep in mind is that, uh, we, the, the, the whole, the Ahuhu brand and the, the touch pool brand, it didn't, it actually did not come organized as you see here. You know, I had to organize it myself. So both the touch pool and the hoo hoo brand, they came like, for example, how the touch bowl is kind of disorganized. Yeah. So how the touch bowl is kind of disorganized and you just have colors everywhere. That's what, how it was with the, with my hoo hoo brand until I, until I was experimenting with the, or not, or just, just jotting down the different uh, swatches on the swatch sheet that they provided. And so that was misleading when I found it on Amazon. On Amazon, it was already, it showed it as it was, you know, organized. A uh, touch bowl also showed it as if it was organized, but when you buy it, it doesn't come organized. So that was, that was pretty misleading. But, um, but yeah, this is the, um, the whole uh, brand is, I, I, I think it's the best, the best buy just due to the fact that it is, uh, there's more diverse colors. It's cheap and it's beginner friendly because it provides swatches and it has a pamphlet, a link, a link to a link to that website. And you could just hold your markers on here. You don't, you wouldn't have to like, uh, buy anything extra. Cause these are, these are good. These are good marker holders. And so, yeah. And so right now I'm using a, uh, the the copy marker so this comes with you know this is the brush now now we're doing brush and this also comes with a broad uh brush they, they usually uh is usually considered uh is usually labeled as sketch because it's you can easily sketch with it and it's also just a brush now this is like a balance between fine tip and broad this is why uh I prefer this or I like this much better, you know, but I'm just going to show you like how, how these copics color, you know, and you know, alcohol markers, you know, they're more so like, uh, as you color, as you keep coloring over them, it keeps the layer gets even darker and darker and darker. You know, that's how our alcohol markers work. So if you wanted to add an extra layer of darkness, you know, uh, draw, draw whatever picture you want to draw with your, with your marker and then wait or so for the, 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 the alcohol marker to dry out. And then you go again to darken the layer with the same color so that you add an, another layer of darkness. If you do not have, um, if you do not have, uh, uh more color gradient to your, you know, to your accessories, if you don't have more diverse colors, if you come with, if you have a, a, a limited amount of colors and you don't have like a shade for a darker yellow, you use the normal yellow and you don't have a shade for a darker yellow, then yeah, you would want to use that kind of method to keep stacking up, stacking it up together. Mm -hmm. So this is, these are the, the, this is the Copic marker that I'm using. And now this one is the, uh, the how ho, -ho, the who. The hua hua marker, right? So again, it works the same. And this this is a, a sketch brush, and it comes with a, it's both broad and sketch. So we're just going to be using sketch now, and you know it works pretty much the same as you know as any other uh, alcohol-based marker. And you can pretty much use them inter uh, interchangeably. So you can use Copics, you know, you can use Touch Wool, you can use uh, a Hua Hua for, you know, just in combination with each other, you know? And so these are some of the artworks that I've created with the, the alcohol markers. So this, this one was mainly created from the, uh, the touch brand, the touch wool, mainly this was created. Most of it was created from the touch wool, except for, except for the sky, which I used the, a, uh, you know, copic marker, uh, sky, you know, or I used copic markers to make the sky. But besides that, most of everything was created here 
using the, the touch pull brand and this was more so a combination of you know touch bull copic markers and uh, a few sets from here the the ho ho brand uh likewise for and so you, you know you can get you know a great am amount of uh diverse shade from it you know again this one was made out of a combination of touch bull uh copic markers and ho ho I'm going to end this showing you guys the differences in the different price points that you want to look out for. So this one, which was the Touch, the Touch Bull brand, which came with broad, uh, broad marker, with a, a broad tip and a fine tip. This one, uh, again, this was uh, sixty dollars, right? This one, which costs around four hundred or so dollars, is the Copic marker sketch, which only comes with seventy-two colors which is limited, you know? And so this one is the whole, the whole, whole alcohol marker brand. And this has, this comes with a 200 and, uh, you know, 16 colors, which is a much more diverse and you have much more, much more uh, room to play around with. And this is only like a $180 compared to uh, four hundred and twenty-three dollars. So this is a great, a great opening for alcohol markers for beginners, and it also comes with a color swatch. Um, I don't believe that it's refillable like the Copic markers, but however, if you, I, I believe if, if you go to the website, you can. If if you ran out of a a certain marker, you could also you can purchase repurchase that that marker again. You know, so. It, it, it's 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 amazing for the price. It's a good deal for for beginners and yeah, yeah. Feel free to uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this this short little review. And yeah, peace.